Years. Crazy your diamond. Yeah. Crazy your crazy Donaldson is wearing a shirt that says Cool Java, and we will not dispute it, it's pretty cool, and yeah. apparently there's a whole retinue of Cool Javas <laughs> to the right. But, um, so good morning, how are you guys doing? Good. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. 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 So, as I was introduced, and it's, it's official, you guys were in the greatest movie in the history of the world, Star Wars, and Tim, this, earlier this morning, we were kind of talking about how you got, uh, how you got involved in it, and I thought maybe, uh, maybe you could tell them, it's kind of an interesting story. Yeah, so actually it, um, it starts with my parents, who are both over here in the, uh, the audience. Um, they were in the National Park Service, and they were um, stationed in Death Valley National Monument um, during 1977. Um, it's my understanding that the, the final cut for Star Wars was made in late 76, um, and George Lucas just wasn't happy with, with how it uh, finished, and, wanted some extra scenes, so they came out to Death Valley, and I don't really understand what his thinking was, but he said, you know, let's go to the elementary school and see if we can borrow eight kids for a couple of days. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, so that's, that's, that's exactly what they did, and, and because Jawas had already been filmed in, in Tunisia and in England, uh, there was a specific height range. lined us all up. It was a, a K through eight school and, and took measurements. We had no idea what we were doing. And Andrew and I were, were lucky enough to be part of the eight. And I was in a school in New Canaan, Connecticut, and I was unlucky. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't come by for me. I would... Yeah, well, and, and not to throw my sister under the bus, who's in the audience with her somewhere. Uh, Raise your hand. But, so we can tell if she's sure. not here, she's still mad about it. She, <laughs> she was a half an inch too tall. Oh. And you think about when you're a kid and they, they ask, hey, we want to measure you, what do you do as a kid to stand up nice and straight? <laughs> she probably just stood there, she came in. So, yeah. and, you just, just, and you just told everybody that. Well, thank God she's not in the room to see yeah, it, but I'm sure, the, I'm sure the yellow and blacks will uh, make sure yeah. that she hears about it later. But, uh, and uh, Angela, what about uh, you? Do you have a little bit of uh, memory from uh, the <coughs> casting um, Yeah, so my father, um, we, uh, I was born in Las Vegas, and my dad uh, was a potter, and they invited him to come to Death Valley to drum up some tourism. Uh, so we opened up a pottery shop next to the opera house in a town of 14 people. And um, my stepmother was a teacher at the school that Tim's talking about, which was K through six. Oh, K through six, I'm sorry. Um, and so uh, we lived there for four years. And during that time, um, a group of people came to the school and decided to ask if they could have the eight kids and uh, measured us. And luckily, I was one of the, I was the right height. Um, my understanding was actually that the reason that we um, we got to be so lucky to be in this movie was there was some film that was overexposed at one point, um, and it was luckily our scene that we uh, are in. Um, oh, so the scene wasn't just a pickup; it was there was film damage and they needed to reshoot. Right, they had to yeah, reshoot. Yeah, so that as well. Right. Yeah. And so it was two weeks actually that they were there. Um, that. Uh, and what was the name? Are you allowed to say the name of the elementary school? Is it still around? Uh, yes, 
Death Valley Elementary Death Valley Elementary School. Death Valley Elementary School. I wrote that one down. There's like 60 people. There were 60 students. It was uh, K through 6. And it was literally one big room mm -hmm. that was partitioned off. Um, yeah, it was, it was so very little house on the prairie. Because my daughter Michaela's in, in elementary school, but no chance of me sending her there and getting a job, right? Not a chance. It's just a bad deal. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Frazier, I think we, we, we spoke a couple days ago yeah, about your background. Yeah, I might have did, 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 did we get into what was your fitting and all that stuff like? They were talking about measurements. Did they do that for you or did they just... No, we didn't have a fitting. Well, my brother and I just rocked up to Lale Street on the Monday. Uh, we were actually due to shoot on Monday, June the 7th, 1976. I know the date. It's engraved in the back of my head. Uh, and when we got there on the day, uh, they were doing pickup shots for the sequences inside the sand crawler with uh, Jackie Purvis and uh, Rusty Off. And uh, Rusty was playing the chief jower on that day, and Rusty Goff was inside the golf room. Uh, and all the shooting over and for some reason, I think there were problems with one of the droids on the set. So we hung around all day, nothing happened, and we had to come back in the next day on the Tuesday to actually go on the shoot. By which time, Rusty had got fed up inside the golf room. So he persuaded Jackie to swap roles. So it's, yeah, so it's Rusty leading us out inside the sand crawler in our sequence, with uh, Jackie running around inside the golf course behind. And, but, and, and Rusty, for those who don't know, was also living in the Lumba. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and I think we agree he was one of the funniest men. Yeah, he's great. He's in the world. Absolutely great. Yeah. He's just, on, on, that, on that day, on the first day, uh, on, a, on our first take of our shoot for our sequence, uh, he was mucking about the back of the set with my brother. And they were talking about Jowers. And bear in mind at that time there was no Star Wars. So we didn't know what Jowers actually were, or any of these robots or the space things that were going on. And he jokingly did this little cartoon sort of theatrical shuffle and said, the Jowers, they just go like this. This is what they do. So of course we go out to do our first take. George Lucas goes, you know, uh, that's just brother comes out, uh, Rusty comes out, I'm the last one in. And I <laughs> across the stage and across the like, cut, 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 cut. But yeah, I mean, that's what he does. He winds everyone up. I mean, you've had that. You've spoken to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mostly that's all around. He thought he was a kid. But I reminded him of him when I saw him in the summer. And he was like, still chuckling. You know? It's good that, wasn't it? So like, yeah, thanks, Rusty. Yeah, no, no, he's great. He had, you have a beer or two with him. He's just, uh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's just a show. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah. he's hilarious. But, um, did you have any, uh, Andrew, do you have any like behind the scenes memories of like when the filming actually happened? So you got, you got, you got measured, and I assume that you got wardrobe, and you, okay. and they started filming. When, how was it, a day or two? How long was it? So we, we did two days, and the first day, um, they took all of these little children to a hotel room in Death Valley, and um, that was <laughs> not weird at all. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they fitted us. For, for the suits on the first day, made sure we were all um, in the right size. And then the second day, they took us out into the desert and they said, pick this thing up and walk up that hill. And we're like, no problem. So we could not pick it up, it was very heavy. It was, um, it was R2, right? We didn't know that at the time, but yes it was. We just thought it was a big drum or something. Yeah. Um, so I, my recollection was that they actually had to dismantle him a bit because he was too heavy. I mean, I, I don't think they thought through how heavy he was for children to pick up. So um, at one point when we are finally picking him up and carrying him up the hill, um, I'm sort of towards the back, so I didn't know what was happening, but um, we stopped and they were asking us to keep going until they realized that the head of our had fallen off. <laughs> so, um, we were stuck, and I, I got back on somehow. And, and you remember what this was strenuous to do? Oh yeah, I remember just, it was fumbling about, and you know, it was really so amazing, such a cool thing, and then, you know, after like the 80th time of like, walk up the hill again, it was like, oh my god. Like, have we done any research into California? Child labor law? No, not at the time. My stepmother was actually on set one of the days and she's like, What is this? Like, what, what, what are these costumes? What's happening? Like, she's like, This is going to be the never seen. Right, so I imagine both of you, your parents had to be on the set. No, 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 my, my mother was there because she was a teacher. They, they had teachers that, um, but 
No, so so actually, um, our parents have given permission um, for us to go, and, and I believe that my mother said that it was it was fine if I'd be a part of it as long as my sister going, and she was able to watch over me in the second grade. So this is a sister that wasn't allowed to be in the movie, and then she yeah, had to watch the movie. Yeah, so, so she actually um, came out on set with us. She was my chaperone. Um, and there's actually a few pictures of her out there. Um, there's another Jawa that, that was with us, Jill Weather, his mother was out there one of the days, and she took a bunch of photographs. Yeah. And in one of the scenes, my sister's in one of the scenes, yeah. she's helping me out. She's wearing this brilliant, bright red suit. It's phenomenal. I think she's more just staring at you in disbelief than actually helping you. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, she, so she was in second grade. How old were you guys? Were? So I was in second grade, and Tim was a kindergartner. Yeah, so the youngest, five years old. Yeah. I, was, I had just turned five in November. So Art. I'm the youngest yeah. pastor. I was seven. You just turned five this past November? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. So, 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 so you're the youngest cast member in, in, well, in all of Star Wars. Right. Well, the, the later ones, there's the Rogue One that has the young. Well, but not. That's, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're talking about the original. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> all of Star Wars. Yeah. The, the, the classic show. And it's just because uh, Frazier and I were talking yeah. about yeah, Whoever's was like, Joel. Remember like when there was yeah. one last. Remember uh, when there was one yeah. last munchkin alive? Right. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. going to be one of the three of you. Is going oh, to be, no. It's, it's going to be it's enormously famous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be famous. It's going to be like Temple of Doom at the end. It's going to be the three of us fighting on the Kavanaugh. No, because right. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of you, and like, I don't want to be morbid, but we're talking about Death Valley, so I might as well do it. One of you is going to die, and it's going to be all over the freaking world. It's going to be at the last Star Wars person, you know? You know what? They, they were so lucky. They've got photographs on set. We weren't allowed cameras or anything. We had a good picture. Of um, yeah, yeah. Well, we've, okay, yeah. we've got that lovely behind-the-scenes photo. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I treasure it. But you know, everyone always asks me for other photos and stuff. Yeah. They didn't allow them elsewhere. We found that new one too, right? Isn't Anthony in his new book? Yeah, yeah she yeah, has yeah, a one yeah, that we've not seen yeah, before. Yeah, no, but I've I mean, that was it. just on the real. You know what I mean? I think they were clicking on the, 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 the official photographer was clicking away. And, you know. Yeah, I don't think one. we had anybody that was there saying. Not yeah. to take pictures. But your second was just fantastic. Yeah. Why are you smiling with your eyes? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
appearing on the screen 19 different times, maybe even 20 I found out this weekend. It was another role I've just learned you did, and it's just growing all the time. Plus the roles that they cut out the film as well, that you performed like Light Man inside of uh, Jabba the Hutt's palace. I don't know if you've seen the photos, it's a guy covered in light bulbs, you know, so. Oh, yeah, that was just, him. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. And on the call sheet it says, you know, Light Man with fairy lights. So it's like, have you seen it? It's like, fucking art lights. Yeah, yeah with fairy lights. It looks like one of those things from Avatar. Yeah, you know, yeah the idea was to get this sort of illuminated character stalking across set and then maybe do something with ILM and do some animation. There was, gonna be, there was going to be a stop motion over, yeah, and over it yeah. and they just couldn't, they couldn't quite figure it out. Yeah. But, but you know, when you're watching the, the behind the scenes stuff, if you're looking at any photographs on set, look for the bald guy with the blue Adidas tracksuit. That will be my dad. He'll be working somewhere in the background. But he's everywhere. I, I never knew that was him in the white because it looked ridiculous. It looked yeah, really, it's really yeah. even back then. It looked, and you got this Fomorian yeah. guard who looks awesome. And in his dangerous. Costume. He hated it. He used to talk about how dangerous that one was because he was tripping over the wires. He couldn't see a thing. You know. Well, what would he ever said? Is oh, is this one of the sisters? Which one's the sister? Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel so bad. I, 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 I was. He said that you, you were almost in the movie. Could have been if you were a little shorter, and then, and I was just thinking I was three thousand miles away at the same time in California, right now, Connecticut, and I feel jealous. So I can't imagine what you feel right now. I would feel terrible. But um, going back to uh, to Peter, what uh, Peter Diamond? Yeah. What um, what did he ever say? What his most dangerous stunt was in Star Wars? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll narrow well, down I mean, Star Wars. Like, so like all the stunt crew, he hated the Sarlacc pit. There was so many issues with that Sarlacc pit in the Dune Sea. I mean, you, you were aware of the stuntmen injuring themselves when they first started filming. They were testing the plunge right. off the barge into, in, into the pit there. And there was an issue with the way they'd set it up with the, the foam that lined around the Sarlacc pit. And the stuntmen were falling in and catching their feet. And there, were no, there was no gear on the foam. It had been set up just wrong. Well, so one of the twist their legs and they ended up breaking legs. One of the, one of the stunt, the stunt uh, coordinators, I, I won't. Give his name. Ah, what the heck? Two of us before. Uh -huh. He, uh, yeah. he yeah. said that like two thirds of the guys who went into that yeah. pit yeah. broke something. So all of the so they could never they could, the window. Yeah. They would break it on rehearsal. You couldn't do it again. Yeah. So all you see like fifteen people fall into that yeah. thing, and they're your dad and yeah. Julius Ford. The only two guys who survived. And, it. and, and everyone swapping costumes just to right. get that thing in the can and get the hell out of there. Yeah. And that's why at the moment it's so you know when you guys come to conventions and you know I collect as much as you like. <laughs> Many of you will be aware if you know me. Uh, you know, you want to pinpoint who did what. Are you in that scene? Are you in that scene? And, and you know, you've got guys out there going, "Well, I actually don't know." You know, because the I, I found I was talking to Larry Holt yesterday, right? And I hadn't met him since filming of the, in, in 1982 because I had the good fortune to go on holiday during the filming of Return of the Jedi. Our family joined Dad out in California, so we went to Yuma, we went to Crescent City. I spent six weeks over here. We, I got dispensation for a special holiday, which is it's so cool. The, the school said to me, you can go, you've got to keep a diary. So I've got this little diary of all things. Oh. Um, so yeah, so uh, uh, I was speaking to Larry Holt, and uh, can I get really detailed on my lap to, you know, to just take a minute? Yeah, okay. okay. Well, Larry Holt plays the, uh, uh, the humanoid guy, the yellow flat jacket that goes into the Sarlacc pit. And his son was flicking through photos with me yesterday, and he said, yeah, but look how it's been edited. On the skiff itself, before Larry plunges in, because he takes the plunge, it's actually my dad in that costume. And then it's also my dad going in the Sarlacc pit on a clip that's shown behind the scenes, because apparently dad was playing that character on the test shots beforehand, but then it was cut from the film. So actually that one character was two people. And then on the corner sheet, dad's identified as being Snip Plotkin, who I think was then played by Alf Joint on the day because Dad was doing the Larry Holt stuff over here, and you know, and it's just everyone was everything. So you know, I can't wait to write. Yeah. Yeah. We spoke on Friday night when we were out to dinner. We were talking uh -huh. about maybe doing a, doing a book, yeah. and I really, I really think you should. Yeah. I mean, there might be something else as well. <laughs> if it could it be a musical? <laughs> Peter Time in the musical. I would definitely, yeah. definitely. And I'm an artist. I'm already going to go home and already start doing the album cover for you. So, um, so Tim, do you have? And I'm going to ask all three of you. But uh, Tim, do you, other than Jabba's, do you have a favorite Star Wars character? And if you don't have one, I'll give one to you if you like. <laughs> no, I, I've always liked uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, it's just a, a great character, with pure emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 
push him to doing anything wrong. It's just, yeah, I'm not going to do this. I've always, always looked up to his character. Young and old, too, I think he's a great character. Oh, you know, you know that they're coming out of the new series. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to take place on Tatooine, and maybe they could use like a six foot Jawa. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, CGI, they can make you smaller like they did them damn hobbits. You know? <laughs> Can they not put you in a wrong suit because you might have yeah. that, that thing they ride? There's got to yeah. be something Wrong suit. Yeah. Oh, wrong suit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's a good smart thing than that. You are on a ball. Andrew, what about you? Do you have a favorite Star Wars character other than Jawas? Uh, well, they're not my favorite. Um. <laughs> didn't ask, but yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they steal for a living. That's all they do. I know. They're so they have no other occupation than theft. Thing. Theft and repairing what they just That's stole. That's all they do. There's no love in their heart. But they have to keep blowing the lies, that's kind of cool. No, they're not cool. They're just terrible. <laughs> I had nightmares as a child. These are your fans in the room. Tell there are fans. <laughs> <laughs> I had nightmares. Uh, I'd wake up and see the glowing eyes for a while after I watched the movie. Right. Because, like, Martha, he's also pissed off about not being picked. <laughs> Was he here? Uh, he's not here. But um, he would um, just tell me how awful they were and how they would be friends and told me all these horrible stories. He's three years older than I am, so <laughs> that was great. I mean, I love him dearly, but um, yeah, they were horrible stories, so I was afraid for a minute. I'm not anymore. I've gotten over it. Um, but no, my, my favorite character um, is Han Solo. Yeah. Han Solo? Okay. Uh, he's cool. I'm going to ask you, actually. You know, your memories get unpacked when you go to these events and you suddenly realize you knew things you didn't know. Was there a measurement, a height measurement that you can recall? Did they actually say a specific figure? I, I, I just really want to know. The geek can be one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were supposed to be X height. Well, this is the way we could find out. How tall were you in second grade? <laughs> <laughs> how, do you know how tall you were? And well, minus one inch, and that's your, gold, that's your golden ticket, Willy Wonka. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so we have um, Obi-Wan, Han Solo, and uh, do you have a favorite character? Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. Tuscan Raiders. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that personal connection for me. You know, Dad was the Tuscan Raider who attacked me in the desert and did the ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, and, and now wherever I go, because they're both from Tatooine and they're kind of the first aliens you encounter, you always see them side by side in publications and you product releases and stuff. So it's kind of like true. that, yeah, it's like fun and sound, it's lovely. I really love that. I'm getting all curious. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. It's just sweet. It's sweet. I like that. And of course, they're cool. You know, that, that head, I think, was based on Colin, uh, Colin Campbell's design for the, the original design for the Jawa Sanctum. They kind of yeah. took the, 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 the cap of that model off and went to get it. And made the Tuscan later, which is weird. Yeah, I know. I, I did not know that. Yeah. And this is, I, I honestly. I'm wrong. I may have been talking off the top of my head. You know, I'm full of. No, no, I saw the pictures. Yeah, yeah. We, we, on Friday, we did a, a slideshow yeah. of some pictures that he had. And then, you know, I, I do this about like 20 times a year. I do, so I do like about, about yeah. 50 or 80 interviews with Star Wars a year. And this convention, I think I've found more tidbits of information. You guys weren't at the cantina one we had yesterday. But, but like what you're saying, it's just amazing how much information you guys are, are giving out. So I'm going to drill you for some more because we've got about half an hour. So. Oh, sure. <laughs> so uh, do you guys have a favorite of the Star Wars movies? Or would you all say a new hope because you're all doing it? Okay, how about except for the new hope? Do you have one that you like? Do you watch the new ones? Well, of course I do. So, well, yeah, you've got to watch them all, haven't you? Yeah, it's kind of like it's. it's, it's yeah. It's, I interviewed someone here yesterday that's never seen a Star Wars movie, even though know. they're in it. Yeah. And I'm not going to say which one. But they have never seen one. Are you really not going to say? Say it. I'll tell you later. Okay. So, the thing is, I, I threw Julius before under the bus, the stunt guy, because he ain't here. He's like 6,000 miles away yeah, in yeah, London, yeah. so I'm cool. Yeah. But this woman's right here. Oh, this person is right here somewhere. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I think the person's not here today. I think some of them left. But anyway, back, we're talking. I'm asking the question about okay. you. <laughs> so, did you have a favorite Star Wars movie other than The New Hope? Yeah, Empire. Cool. Empire? Yeah. yeah. But that's particularly close to me because that was the one where, when Star Wars was building, Star, I, I've said this, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Uh, it's a QA, and a it's supposed to be yeah, asked to answer questions. Yeah, but you know, when I was talking on Friday, so anyway. uh, 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 Star Wars wasn't Star Wars when we made Star Wars, if that makes sense. It didn't exist, so there was nothing out there. So, of course, by the time Empire comes along, it's three years later, I'm a little older, and yeah, it's like, 
Yeah. So you're seeing it from start to finish. Dad was coming back with the scripts and the storyboards and stuff, and I was pouring over them excessively, you know. And you could, you know, he took me into Freeborn House to see Stuart Freeborn doing his, making his puppet and giggling about the. Which well, he made a clone of himself. Yeah. yeah. Stuart Freeborn, the guy yeah. who designed you, his puppet. Yeah. Looks like you. Yeah. And it's yeah. like they're identical. So it's pretty Minus pretty the green skin. Something, you know, we went out, you know. And there's things like, you know, you, I go to Dad's dressing room and we raid the dressing room and all the Star Wars associated bits in there and sneak them out past security. So we've still got like a dressing room, artiste dressing room signage and stuff. Like that. Yeah, at dinner actually, after our panel, yeah. at dinner you were telling about how you nicked all these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a job. That's the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You took yeah. that home with you. you know, what do you call that? Method acting. <laughs> but Tim, do you, do you have a favorite Star Wars movie? Other than A New Hope. Other than A New Hope. Because we all know New Hope's the best, right? So, I, think uh, I actually, I, I love to watch Rogue One. I think yeah. that's, that's a great story, yeah. and I, I love how they tied that film into a new hope. Like it's just seamless; it just goes right into the side of yeah, I thought the best review I saw for that Rogue One was one that said that George Lucas is going to film the sequel to Rogue One, and obviously they meant A New Hope, because it does go right into it, it's perfect. Yeah. 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 How about you, do you have a favorite Star Wars movie? So, um, actually, I, um, this is a little too sure because Empire Strikes Back, um, and I think it was just because I was a little bit older, and I was at that age where it was like, amazing, and it did stack a little more. Um, and it's a most people, th I guess probably most people think Empire is their favorite star. Who thinks Empire is the best? Show oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's like half the audience. I mean, you're wrong, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Empire is great. I say Empire is probably the second. But it only works like that because you've had New Hope before, doesn't it? Right. Because yeah. exactly. all the sort of uh, establishing, all the establishment's been done in that first film. <laughs> So this is how I think you could have a little exposition in the beginning and kind of explain it. Maybe the crawl instead of being three paragraphs, maybe six. You know, in the beginning of the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, cool. So, um, how about overall, like, favorite movies? Do you have, like, a favorite film? Did we talk about that on the... Who was here on Friday's panel with Frazier? Okay, a good number of people. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Tuscan Raider showed up. This is like your hippie. Yeah, game. you've got your oh, mind. I've got true. my phone. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Can we have the yeah. we have, we have the black and yellows versus the Tuscans? <laughs> there's only there's only two Tuscans, but they have weapons. They have weapons. <laughs> this is great. This is great. They could take they took their helmets off though, but anyway. So um favorite movie. Changes every other day. That's that's oh, totally legal. Really it's such a fluid thing. I don't know. You know, Alien. I don't know. Back to the Future. Close Encounter. I don't know. Just you know, just anything that gets me plonked down the very front of the cinema screen, in the middle, like I was when I was a kid, front row, yeah. looking up like that. The worst. If you're in the UK, we used to have really run down cinemas, really foul ones. This was before multiplexes, and my sort of my whole young life was every night down the front of the cinema in these grotty flea pits, yeah. just watching. Because I was obsessed with film and filmmaking. Dark Crystal, I saw seven times in a week. You know, I just went every night. At the end, they were just letting me in for free. Go, like, oh, is that kid again? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a new series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, except that right. the other thing I would say, there's this sort of kind of like obsession at the moment with bringing back stuff. Yeah. I'm a bit disappointed that cinema at the moment isn't creating okay. new stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the soap box. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I love it all. No, don't get me wrong, I love it all. But it's just come kind of like, yeah, new stuff. You know, what's the next generation going to have hold of? You know? Rather than just always thinking, oh, it's Star Wars, though, of course. Hey, Star Wars can always get new stuff. I do sometimes go, hmm. Because, like, Dark Crystal, I mean, the new series is beautiful, it's lovely, but, you know, it's like, we've got the film there. The film is something. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? But I think the new series is fantastic. Yeah, right. Really yeah, yeah, no, it is. Uh, I'm partial because I know a lot of people more talk about it, but still, yeah. But, but at the time, I, I would have said to you, yeah, Dark Crystal, actually, outside of Star Wars. Because those puppets were just alive. Henson just, I was obsessed with Henson when I was a kid. I wanted to be a Henson performer. I went to uh, one of their auditions, and I was crap. Well, one of his people was crap. It was embarrassing. You know, I was telling my friends, <laughs> oh it was embarrassing, you know. They said, oh, you tell Roger Rabbit, you were a puppeteer. And I was like, no, I held a tray and ran around. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to this audition, I was sticking my hand up a puppet, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brian Henson's going, yeah, that shit, we're going to film you. And I was just awful. You know, I had no idea how the waltzes worked or anything, but it did. You know, so I was really pleased that's there somewhere that I had that experience. But yeah, I was definitely. But then Mike Quinn's just amazing, amazing stuff he does. He's still lightning breathing through the puppet's hands. It's just beautiful.
But Tim, you got a, a favorite movie? I, I would and you can say, if it is a Star Wars film. Yeah, I will always say Star Wars. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I love the universe. I love I love Star Wars as a whole. Uh, if, if you were going to ask me to go outside of that, I would I would go to, uh, to the old spaghetti western. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful to yeah. that flute music, and it's, it's just, I go right back to that. I, I asked the question, uh, and every time I come yesterday to the cantina, I actually asked one. And I can say this because it was public, they said it right now. I said, I said, what was your favorite movie? Because I don't like movies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he actually <laughs> freaking said that. It was hilarious. I just gave him one. I said, like, how many movies was the Great Escape, you know, it was just, I, I never was expected that. If they had said pornography, I would have been fine with it. The answer is, they don't like they look, They're too long and they're uncomfortable to sit through. Wow, it's hilarious. I loved it. But anyway, so Andrea, do you have a favorite movie? Mm, I think mean, obviously Star Wars. I mean, other than that. Besides Star Wars, I, 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 I can't pick favorite movies because I am the same. I can sit and watch anything. Even if it's a horrible movie, I have to watch it the whole way through. I can't turn it off. It's like reading a book. I have to yeah. finish it. Um, I, I love Quentin Tarantino films. Um, I love Scary. I love all Stephen King. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a spaghetti western, but in all of them, Carrie Grant is my favorite. Um, I mean, I can just, it, you can't, everything. I don't know. Yeah, I was, um, how many people here? Now we know any people who like Empire. Who here thinks that uh, Star Wars is originally the best of the, of the children? So I got like five friends here. Right? Yeah. And the sister who got, the, even the one who got edited out, yeah. not hired. What's your name, by the way? Tracy. Tracy, are you signing in the hall as well? <laughs> and is this is this all your family? Oh, it's not all the family you have, but everyone there is a family member. Yeah. And, and how often do you guys want to, can you guys see this? They're all wearing the same shirt he's wearing. And, uh, and how often do you guys, do you guys do this? Just every time he goes to a convention, you guys show up in these shirts? This is our first. This is your first time? Yeah. Is this a new shirt? It's a new shirt, brand new shirt. Why don't you sell them here at the con? They're kind of cool. Or do you? I'm sorry, I mean to. Well, if somebody wanted one, I could, I could definitely come up with one like Double X, right? In fact, Double X, I, I own a clothing company, you know. Oh, you know! <laughs> Yeah, and there's the whole Jawa, and I'm just left Jawa. The cool Jawa, the hot Jawa, and Peter Diamond's Jawa. So we're still working on Fraser. Fraser. Yeah, yeah, Fraser. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, I thought, I thought that was being picky. Yeah. So, Andrea and I, this is our second convention. We were just rediscovered about two and a half years ago or so, something like that. We always knew we were going, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, actually, and actually, Andrea and I, as 